Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the roles of designer and developer when it comes to HTML5 ads. So there are gonna be times where the designer only needs themselves and that's it. So if you're going to say the AdWords network, which is pretty easy to do, um, you just need yourself, design it, um, and a little bit of code, which we'll do at the end of this in publishing, and that's all, you don't need the help from anybody else. Um, if you're putting it on your own site, it's the same, okay? You can do it all yourself. If you're going out some of the bigger networks, um, ad networks like Google DoubleClick or Seismic, and um, what happens is there are lots of different ways they can measure your ad. And you might be paying for it, it used to be just paying for impressions, right? How many people see your ad, that's how much you pay, okay? Now there's lots of crazy things where you can do bits where only if they're interacting with it, only if it's viewable on the page at that time. So you can, there's lots of little measurements that can be done. So quite often what happens in those bigger situations is that you'll need your designer to do the kind of visual and communication side of it, okay, designing the ad, and then often you'll need to pass that, um, your Adobe Animate file on to a developer for them to add a little bit of metrics that quite, can be quite complicated for somebody who's not, uh, you know, kind of a code-based developer. So often that's what happens, right, for some of the bigger networks. What can also happen is that um, some agencies, what they're doing is they're getting the designer to design it, then they're handing over the um, Adobe Illustrator, sorry, Adobe Animate files, and the developer's pretty much not using it at all other than to pick through, just to, as a visual, okay? And they're not gonna use any of your code, okay? So they're just gonna look at it, they're gonna pick through the code and grab out your images that you've made, and they might pick out a little bits, but they're gonna actually rebuild it in something like GreenSock or um, do it themselves and create JS. Okay, so they might be, um, you know, just find out what the process is going to be for you at your job and whether you're the kind of all person or whether you're gonna get help from somebody or send it on to somebody else to pick through. All right, um, another thing is I'm talking a little bit fast. I told you I had a coffee in the last one. It hasn't worn off because it's only been like two minutes since the last video. Um, a good little tip though is um, in these videos, there'll be like a little gear icon or I can't remember what side it is. There'll be a little settings icon and you'll be able to play around with the speed. Okay, so you might want to slow me down. Okay, just uh, I talk naturally very fast and coffee doesn't help. Um, so yeah, you can slow it down to like maybe half speed if you're finding it a little fast. If you're finding you just want to blaze through this, you might speed it up to 1.5 and I can talk like a chipmunk. All right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I? Good YouTube people.